Oh boy. I'm just getting started and I can't figure out how to hold it. <clears throat> not good. Definitely not good. Oh, I know what I forgot. I forgot to have. There we go. That is much better. Hello. Hi. So I'm guessing that the notification went out. Not sure. Hello. Another late start. It was just one of those days when everything got screwy. Hi, Alita. How are you? Hi, Sunny. How are you? It's good to see you. I was going through some of my things today. I wanted to bring them down here. Good. But I didn't because I wanted to kind of show a bunch of things that I was thinking of trying to sell either on Poshmark or possibly eBay, if I can figure that one out. It is okay. Uh, you know, still everything up in the air. I think until my situation gets sorted out, I'm going to have good days and I'm going to have bad days. It's just part of the reality of my world at this moment in time. Hi, Patty. You can't see the live chat? <clears throat> my shop is um, feelgoodcreationsforyou.com, all spelled out. Feel good creations for you. Oh, good. Dot com. And um, yeah, it was funny. I got um, a sale today and all of a sudden there was this little ding on my phone and it was such a nice sound. It really was. So I'm very grateful for it. And um, I don't know if she's on, but I do want to say thank you. Um, yeah, and I actually put my first pop sockets on Amazon. Interesting, I joined this group of Amazon. Hi, Erlinda. Um, these, these um, I guess, e-commerce gurus who really seem to know what they're doing, these merch experts. And a whole bunch of them were saying that they've, they've all had the same experience where people just started stealing everything that they did. So it made me feel a little bit better because what they said was just keep on doing what you're doing and just, you know, don't get yourself all worked up about it. They said, definitely when you see it, hi, Sheila, when you see it, let Amazon know because they are good at taking off the offenders, but it's not going to stop it, but it'll, it'll make some difference. So I'm going to do that. But I had fun creating the pop sockets. I only created two of them. And I don't have the ability to create those in the store, at least not yet. So it was fun to do it on merch. And this time they approved my stuff really quickly because it was out there, I think, within 20 minutes or half hour. Because it took days in the beginning when I first started for them to approve the stuff. So that was good. <clears throat> I had to go and pick up that uh, that thing for to help lift my leg in doing those exercises. And I'm going to hold off showing it to you to wait and see if Ange comes on because she had been interested in it. And rather than show it twice, I'll see. If she doesn't come on, I'll show it to you. But if she does, I'll wait. I haven't used it yet. And I was a little disappointed because it turned out that he bought it on Amazon and they come with a little booklet of exercises. Maybe he didn't want me to do any of those. But still, if I was paying for the thing, I think I should have gotten the little booklet with it. So that would have been good. 
And I can't wait to go back on Thursday and try that step thing again. Because if I can get that worked out, that's going to be a big help for me. It really is. I did another load of laundry today, and this thing is really working for me by carrying it in that little shopping bag. So that works well. And it just makes it easier not to leave the stuff on top of the washing machine after it's dry and then have it sitting there for God knows how long. So it's really good to get it done, folded, and put away right away. Yeah, I hope so. I really hope so. It's, um, I'm doing better with the physical therapy. I can definitely feel a difference. I feel as if it is, I'm able to do a little more. I'm able to stretch a little farther. I'm able to get a little bit more of everything done. He sees a difference. He said there's a definite difference. And um, oh, the with the physical therapy, that everything is definitely headed in the right direction with that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it really hurts a lot when he's stretching me, but he said he's got to do it. He said, otherwise, I'll never be able to walk normally if I don't stretch out those muscles because they get shortened, tightened, they, they sort of ball up and it hurts like the dickens. It really makes a big difference, Susan. So I'm really happy with the physical therapy and I'm so glad that I got to go back and I hope that I can go for a while. So we'll see how that plays out. And uh, yeah, I... I actually, I had, my lunch today was, it was a pork loin, a bad disc in the back. Yeah. Yeah, it just really does make such a difference when you can have something that helps and uh, gives you a little bit of a leg up, which is no pun intended. So... Uh, I really had wanted to come on and show you some of the things that I was thinking of putting on either Poshmark or um, eBay, but I didn't gather them together today because they were upstairs. And I just, I don't know, there was a lot going on today. Nothing productive necessarily, but a lot of stuff was going on. So I really... I didn't have time to organize it and I wanted to do that. And I really wanted to film in the other room where I could sit and kind of hold the things up if I use the um, tripod. So that would definitely be a help. So I'm gonna see about that and getting rid of a lot of this stuff does appeal to me on a global level as well because I really would like very much to start to streamline things it's just too much stuff definitely too much stuff so we'll see how all of that plays out um you know on the disappointing end of things the my old client friend who had told me that if the deal didn't work out you know what she was working on on her house she was going to list with me hi Ange but that um, I didn't hear from her, so I contacted her today. And I said, I feel as if I was reading a book and somebody, oh, he falls. Oh, that is hard to deal with. Hi, Barbara. Definitely will pray for him, absolutely. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, yeah, it's it's so hard when you have something. I I know. I know those those typos. Um, and I'm gonna reach over and get that thing. 
This is the thing that I was telling you about that he ordered for me. It's this long thing. I'm going to try to put it into a video tomorrow and actually do the exercise so you can see it. But the foot fits into one of these sections and you hold the two ends up so that you can then help to move the foot or whatever and uh, or, and or lift it. So it's it's good and I'm really happy that I was able to get it today so I'm going to work on that I worked on some of the exercises at home I really want to get that step I noticed that they sell it on um, Amazon but it's expensive I think the cheapest one I saw was maybe $45 but they typically seem to be about 60 something or 70 for the step it's a step in increments it's like a third of a step I think it's it's four inches, then another two inches, and another two inches, actually. About the real estate deal. Yeah, so I, I said to her, I feel as if I'm reading a book, and somebody took the book away from me just before I read the ending. You have knee bursitis? Yeah, I'm going to try to do that tomorrow. I have to tell you, I was very frustrated today. On my other phone, I, was, I, have, I have two videos I need to load. It will not let me download them onto my phone. It's telling me that there's not enough storage that I need to get rid of things before I can do it. Hi, Iris. Good to see you. Um, so, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Totally forgot. Ow. Oh, my leg smarts and this computer that's sitting in my lap is hot so it's hurting my leg um oh the real estate thing so she finally got back to me and she said it looked as if the deal that she was working on was going to go through and i thought to myself wow i was really hoping for a minute that it wouldn't go through and then I thought about it and I said, that's not nice. That's really not nice. It's, I'm happy if it goes through for her so she'll be finished with it. But I had that moment. I really had that moment. And you know, it's all based upon all the scary stuff, but I hated seeing that in me. Yeah, but I, I, ooh, I don't like it. I mean, I really don't like it. If I really care, then I have to care. I can't care only when it's okay for me. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. So it is what it is. Uh, anyway, I have two videos on the other phone that I could not load because it keeps giving me this error message that I don't have enough storage on, on, on this device is what it said. Survival of the fittest. My father used to say that all the time. Terrified me as a kid because I knew I was not the fittest. <laughs> Hi, Myra. So, um, yeah, so I couldn't load the things. And I don't know what's wrong because I have, I think I have 128 gigs of memory on that phone. And I have 30 some odd used. So Lord knows there is plenty of storage. And then I looked in the cloud and there's plenty of storage in the cloud. So it makes zero sense to me. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Why is it not letting me download the video? And if it doesn't, it means I have to redo both videos. And that's enormously frustrating. So I'm going to see if I can figure something out tomorrow. I just, I just don't get it. How it can possibly say that when it's nowhere near full. So that's, you know, when technology, when it doesn't work exactly the way it's supposed to, from my point of view, I want to smack it. <laughs> I really think that it should work. If it doesn't work, what do we need it for? So we'll see how that, how that goes. Yes, 
Yes, I try to do that. Um, no, if I took it to where I bought it, they don't know anything over there. But it's an iPhone. Hi, Melissa. Um, it's an iPhone, and I know. I know. The problem is I didn't get the extended warranty on it because it was too expensive for the two phones. It would have cost me an extra $40 a month, and I just couldn't go an extra $40 a month. So, <laughs> I always guess what you're saying. Um, there was the other... Oh, Melissa, I wanted to talk to you about Bumble. <laughs> I joined Bumble the other night and I started going through some profiles and there were some interesting sounding men. Of course, all the interesting sounding men were in Manhattan and Manhattan guys do not come out to the island. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. They just don't. And it seems to me, I don't know if it's not that popular here yet. I'm really not sure. But I seem to have used up all the guys <laughs> within 24 hours. And then they told me I would have to, I would have to extend my, hold on. I'm gonna, I would have to extend my geographical area and or the age range. So I extended the age range and I increased the geographical area. And then I started to see more guys, but they're too far away or the wrong age. They don't do what? Oh, the guys, they don't come out to the island. Manhattan people, people who live in Manhattan, you're not gonna get them to come out to the island. So, you know, they probably would want me to go into the city, and I'm not doing that. Yeah, I, I gather it's different out there. It's definitely not like that here. So, another incentive, perhaps. Yeah, whenever I try to... Yeah. They're just... I don't know if it's not all that popular here yet or well-known... It's, as I say, they've got some really nice guys. Sort of the caliber of them seem to be pretty good. I agree with you. They seem to be more intelligent. That's what I was getting from what I saw. And they look pretty good, except for the one guy who really liked me, my luck. And he had pictures. And they say I have pictures that they won't tolerate any pictures of people they say they won't even tolerate pictures of people like doing selfies uh, in the bathroom or wearing bathing suits unless it's in a situation where they're out by a pool or something. Well, this guy sends me a picture that he's taking in the bathroom. You can see the toilet behind him. <laughs> and he's half naked. And I said, what is it? What? And, you know, he's he was sort of... Uh, I don't know. Not not your classiest looking fella. <laughs> yeah, not exactly a class act. So, um, yeah, that, that was not. But all the others seemed perfectly fine. There were some on the island. There were some, not any that really. Yeah, well, these were on the profile. The and and I think I think you're allowed. I don't remember if it's six or eight pictures, maybe eight. And of them, I think two or three of his were half naked. <laughs> oh, lucky me. Lucky me. Isn't that terrific? Oh, really? Oh, I'm happy to hear that, Melissa. So it's not just me. Hold on a second. I have to sit up. I don't know. I really don't know. You know, and I want to say to them, hey, listen, fellas. You know, I didn't necessarily want to see it that way once upon a time, but <laughs> yeah, that little blue pill, right? 
Son of a gun. <laughs> I mean, if a guy, you know, was real. But then again, because they want to see. Yeah. Not these days so much, really. No, I need a bathing suit with a skirt. <laughs> Remember those? With the little skirt. Yeah. Do you have one? I remember my cousin had one of those. I think I had one at one point too. And as I recall, it was sort of take on a, it was like a flotation device in the pool. It would sort of blow up. Too many wrinkles, exactly. A skirty wrinkles. <laughs> Yes. Exactly. Exactly. They do make them again? Yes, I think that's a great idea, Patty. Somebody with a plane or somebody with easy access. Well, not too easy, but easy enough access. I mean, yeah, it, it would have to be a classy guy. It really would. I, I can't do. I can't do. Speaking of which, Melissa, how's yours going? I mean, are you going to let us live vicariously through you? I can't. I can't find a comfortable position tonight. That's not fun. Yes, I need I need a classy guy. I have zero patience for men with no class. It's very hot in here tonight. Wow. Son of a gun. I need a bathing suit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but then again, Melissa, maybe if you do get attached, maybe he'll change his mind. Maybe he won't go. When I was on, I forgot which side, maybe it was plenty of fish, I'm not sure. But I seem to attract a, nu attract a number of guys. Oh, um, I seem to attract a number of guys from California. There was one from Northern California who sounded like a really nice guy. And I don't recall if he had been a firefighter or something, a sheriff or I don't remember. But he sounded like a nice guy, younger, really too young for me. And he was way north in California. And of course, I had told him if I went to California, I'd want to be in Southern California to be near my son. And then there was another guy from the L.A. area, actually. I know. Um, and he just kept asking me when I was coming out there and he'd meet me at the airport. No, no such thing as too young. Mm. Maybe no. Maybe yes, I'm not sure. I guess it depends. David won't let me talk to him about this stuff. He tells me it's weird. Although I, you know, well, he doesn't talk about it a whole heck of a lot. What, what did you tell him? What did I miss? Yeah. Yeah, the kids don't want to hear about it. It's like, it's as if that part of you doesn't ex... Whoops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. No, that's... I mean, that certainly sounds reasonable because you don't want to get hurt. But at the same time, maybe he's thinking of moving because there is nobody in his life and he's feeling 
lonely and and uh, bereft. So maybe if you two really connect, he'll change his mind. And then you'll be our success story. Oh God, I was thinking about Carol again. I don't know why. I should have tried that number today, but I didn't. You were single with three kids? Oh, oh, okay. Exactly, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Well, listen, when I was a very young girl and I remember being in my friend Sandy's house and we were lying on the floor. I think there were three of us there, except I don't remember who the third one was. And she had this book open. I don't remember if it was an encyclopedia or something, but she was explaining sex to me. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that really is wonderful. That's true too. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's really funny. But then again, and that's a good thing too, Melissa. Having friends is a good thing. I actually was going to look at the friend part of you are one of the lucky ones. You really are. And I think it's it's such a blessing to have that and then to, you know, to be able to grow old together. That That is a gift. I mean, it's a lot of us don't have it for one reason or another, but it is what it is, you know, and I just, uh, I trust in the greater plan most of the time. Not 100% of the time, but most of the time. I just, uh, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not going to complain about it. I had, there is a car alarm going off and you almost never hear that at night here. Mm. Yeah, I, I read that article about finding friends after 50. I don't remember if it was Sandy who sent that. But yeah, it was interesting. And really, I think it would be lovely. I think it would be really lovely to have a group of friends close by. And I think that would just be, um, that would be a real gift because I think we have so much more of an understanding of each other and the things that we go through and I think we just we're so much better at being able to commiserate on that level not to say that guys can't some can but I think more don't than do so that alarm is not stopping Oh, well. Huh, maybe somebody got locked out of their car. Who knows? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Patty. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> that's really good. Having a good group of friends is wonderful. I know a lot of people here have said that as they get older, they have more and more of a problem with friends locally because a lot of them move away.
Oh, I'm glad you did call and apologize. Was he hurt when you did that? I would imagine he would be. He was upset. Why? Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy. And if it's recent, it's raw. Yeah. Yeah. But the being alone, especially when you had a good marriage, people don't want to be alone after they've been in a good marriage. They really want to have that kind of companionship. And it's very hard to go it alone. Yeah. I started talking to a guy last night, but I knew that geographically we were not really, well, for a number of reasons. He also was a little younger than I was. He was not a problem for me age-wise, but I think I might have been for him. But, you know, he might still, and again, you know, it's, uh, it, it, it's just, God, it's so hard. Navigating these waters in this classroom we call Earth is not always easy. It's really not. There's no road map. But that's wonderful, Melissa, if you both were getting attached. Do you think maybe he mentioned it because he was getting too attached too quickly? Yeah. It's, you know, I'm very independent too, but there's independent and there's independent. Local newspapers with dating. I don't, I don't think, so. I don't think we have it here. I'm not aware of anything like that here. And I think I'd be probably afraid of it. Um, I don't know. I have, as I say, I have tried a few of the dating services, but there are so many crazy people. Oh, you used to have that there? Yeah. Hi, Lauren. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. have a friend club yes that's exactly it Kathy you can be independent and not be alone absolutely yeah being lonely is hard, and it's especially hard when you haven't been. You know, for me, because I was so busy with my career and my life. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's fine to be independent when you need to be. But it's also, it's also fine to be vulnerable and it's fine to be, to allow your guard down and just allow yourself to be part of something where you are not in total control. I know I love being in control of my life and when I'm not, it, it, it makes me nervous. 
but sometimes life doesn't give you that control and you really need to kind of do things. Me, if you're talking about me, it's a very long time. Yeah, you can be independent when you were married. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Yes. I agree. I agree. I think it is so much easier. David's, um, Rachel's mother is, is a, a very active artist. As a matter of fact, that's how I'm going to be exactly. Someone to talk to at the end of the day. If you go somewhere and you see something wonderful, it's nice to be able to turn around and say to somebody, wasn't that wonderful? Or if it was terrible, isn't it nice to turn to somebody, even with tears in your eyes, and say that was awful? It just makes it easier. It's, it's just, I don't think we're meant to be singular in this world. I, I don't think we are. I think we're meant to be part of something and not to be all alone. And it's, there's, I think I, I handled my situation well. Exactly. It definitely is. And I think it, yeah, I think we do. I think, Look, I mean, we do as a group depend on each other in, in ways. I exactly, exactly. I could never do that. And I always said it would be, it, it, nothing would be fun. We are, we are supposed to have relationships. No, we're not. Okay. I'm not clear on that. Yeah, I'm not uh, not too clear on that one. I don't know. That's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, my aunt had friends that she used to go on vacation with. They used to have such a good time. They really did. They had a great time together. And uh, yeah, it was definitely, it has to be more fun than all those Real Housewives of. Yeah. Yeah, well that's good. That really is good and I think it's I think it's fine for everybody to have. Yeah, I can understand that, Melissa, because I think a lot of men, you know, don't have I used to do. I used to do volunteer work. I did volunteer work for a very long time. And I loved it, but I did it the way I do everything with my whole heart. And I got involved in more and more and more things until it it, it took over my whole life. Yeah, I, I sort of can't do it now because I'm not in a position to do it right now. But yeah, I think I would love I would love to feel as if maybe there's a chance that I could get that. I don't want to say well enough because I mean, I feel better and I pray that that stays that way. But that if I can get into a position where I can have as close to a normal life as possible, that would be a gift. That really would, it would be wonderful. So I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if it will be that way, but I would love to think so. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you were both used to doing your own separate things. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I definitely get it. And as I say, I mean, I remember. Yeah. I even remember as a young married woman that my husband and I used to kind of laugh because our other married friends <clears throat> would say things like, ask your husband if you can go wherever or ask your wife if you can do this. We didn't have to ask each other permission. We would talk to each other just out of courtesy, but we weren't asking permission. We didn't suddenly become owned by the other person. So I think, yeah, I think we had a relationship that worked on that level because, you know, it was just, we appreciated that the other person was there, but at the same time, it wasn't like, hey, well, you didn't become my father and I didn't become your mother. So, although there was a period of time when I thought I did, actually, uh, that was when he got to the point where after dinner, he would come over and give me a kiss on the forehead and thank me for dinner. And he used to do that with his mother. So I thought, oh my God, I became his mother. <laughs> yeah, I, I cannot even imagine it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I actually had a friendship die because I had a friend who was so overbearing. Yeah, I just I just never got that. We would just look each, at each other and say permission. No. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that's wonderful. That's exciting. Oh, that really is exciting. That would be a lot of fun. <clears throat> I, I was thinking about the dancing recently. And oh my God, I used to love to dance. I just loved it. I really did. Yes, I agree, Barbara. Yeah, it is so much fun. I mean, I, I, I told you I, I did um, <clears throat> ballet, um, toe and interpretive dancing, but I also did ballroom dancing in the sense that I won many uh, dance contests, champagne hour type things and all of that, but I never I never did that beautiful ballroom dancing that that I loved so much and I loved watching other people do. I We actually had friends who did that. They were ballroom dancers. That's how they had met and they got married and they just loved doing that. Oh, that would have been fun when I could walk. Yeah, that really would have been fun. Do you have any videos, Patty, of the dancing? I would love to see that if you have anything. <clears throat> I actually have a picture. I'll see if I can find it. It was from my honeymoon when I won a dance contest. Oh, only on VHS. Oh my God, you're kidding. <clears throat> that's awful. Oh, oh, that's awful. Maybe you could have it transferred to a CD, a DVD. Although those could be going the way of all else as well. 
you know, wouldn't that have been nice? That really would be. I used to love it. I did um, the ballroom dancer at the hotel that we were in, in Miami back in the day. Um, had asked, I was very young. I danced with him. His partner got sick one night. And after I had won the dance contest, he asked if I would dance with him. And I did, and I didn't know if I could do it because, you know, they had rehearsed High Grace. Um, he had, I, we didn't have a chance to rehearse any of the routines or anything, but I did dance with him at the end of which he went to my father and told him that he would like me to travel with him and dance. And of course my father said, absolutely not. Uh, yeah, yeah, the photo places can. They even have devices where you can do it yourself. Aw, I'm so sorry. Have a good night, Ange. Take care. I used to lament when I was young. I will try. I used to lament when I was young that it was all taking so long for me to grow up. Oh God, how I would give back a few of those years by now. I used to lie about my age, trying to be older. Funny. It's funny the things we do and how we change. And now time is certainly flying by. It just goes in a flash. You know, your kids are babies and then all of a sudden they have kids of their own and then those babies grow up. It's just amazing. I find it really hard to believe that my grandson, the older one, is going to be going to college next year. It's inconceivable to me. It really is. It just goes way too fast. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, I would gladly give back some of those years now. <laughs> way too fast. It really is. I feel as if I blink and another month is gone. And I blink and another month is gone. It really is. That I know that's incredible. That's really incredible. It just does go by. I don't know if it's later this month or next month that my grandson graduates from high school. Yeah. It's just, I don't have any problem with age per se. It's just, everything's going by too fast. Exactly, exactly. Next month, uh, yeah, it's, um, David had asked me if I was gonna go out for the graduation, I can't. There's no way. So I'm going to have to hope that they do. I wish, I wish my son would do FaceTime. He's, he doesn't FaceTime. I agree with you. It's not the age, it's the aches. Yeah, I, as I say, I have no problem with age, whatever the number is. It's just what goes along with it. And what goes along with it is not necessarily great. And you know that at a certain point, it is downhill. <laughs> it sounds like a good idea to me. I definitely could go for that. Just reminded me of a guy that I had met on one of the dating services before I got sick, 
or before I knew I was sick. And he was down in Florida. And I felt very safe, you know, uh, talking to him and having, you know, a, a messaging kind of thing. But all of a sudden he came up to New York and he told me he wanted to meet me. Scared the heck out of me, it really did. That was too close to home. Okay, see, but the problem with that, Erlinda, is that I have already reached the top and now I'm headed back down. It just reminds me of a short story I wrote many, many, many years ago about a woman of middle age who, when her mother suddenly passes away, she realizes that she is now the older generation and that relentlessly we are all headed up that mountain only to kind of fall off the edge when we get there. And uh, I, I have that thought in my mind very often as, you know, as told in the story, and it's funny. It's almost like the story wrote itself. So, that is my story. And I think once again, I'm gonna make it a little bit of an earlier night, she said, and I know it's late, but I am kind of tired. And I don't want to get to bed very late because then I wind up having a terrible next day and I really need to get some things accomplished. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Myra, good night. And take care. Mm, yeah. To a degree. It's just that everything, everything looks sort of monumental at this point. Good night and have a wonderful night, everybody. And I will see you next time. Take care.